This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning light on C programming. So in this video tutorial we are gonna see the for loop. Similar to the while loop we have used in the last tutorial, we can use this for loop also you know, just for the looping purpose. So let's see the syntax of this for loop. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. So to use the for loop you have to use the keyword for, then a pair of parentheses, then a pair of curly braces. So within this curly braces you have to write the statement that you want to execute repeatedly. So here within this parenthesis you have to write three statements. So first you need to initialize a counter variable. You know in the while loop also we used a counter variable and we used it uh, you know outside the while loop. But here in the for loop we need to initialize it inside this for loop. So next you have to write the condition or the expression. So until your this expression or condition satisfies or it evaluates to true, you know, the statements inside this for loop will be executed. And once this condition becomes false, your for loop will be terminated. And the next thing is you need to increment or decrement the counter variable. So you know you know it's similar to the while loop where you know we just incremented our counter variable in uh, if you skip that then now uh, you know our program will will be in the infinite loop so let's see how we can use this for loop in our program so here for the demonstration purpose we're gonna print the number from 1 to 10 so the first thing is we need a variable to use as a counter variable so I'm gonna create a variable and let's call it i or you know counter you can name it anything you want so the next thing is you're gonna write our for loop so first we need to initialize the counter variable it's gonna be counter equal to zero and a semicolon then we need to write the test condition or the expression it's gonna be counter is less than or equal to 10 that's because you know we want to run this for loop until this counter value is less than or equal to 10. So the next thing is we need to increment or decrement the counter. So he so here we want to increment it just because you know if you increment this counter value then it will be greater than or equal to 10 at some time. Otherwise you know this uh, this condition will be always true and our program will be the infinite loop. So that's why we're gonna increment it counter plus plus so now within this for loop we, we have to write the statements that should be executed you know until this condition satisfies so we're gonna use a printf statement and we're gonna write percentage d and we're gonna refer the counter variable so I'm gonna save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have printed a number from 0 to 10 now that's because we initialized our counter value to 0 so if you if we initialize it to 1 then it's gonna print the numbers from 1 to 10 so I'm gonna close it another thing I want to teach you is if you want to initialize more than one variable here you can do that but you have to add a comma then uh, you have to write the variable initialization let's say we have a variable i and uh, if you want initialize to 100 you can do it here and here also if you want to increment that variable you can do that but make a note that you know here this condition part you can only write one statement so if you want you can uh, use this logical or the comparison operators together so i can write uh, you know and or uh, or then write another expression here let's say i is you know greater than zero so this is a statement or this is one statement that's why we can write it so here as you can see we can use this logical operator to combine you know the conditional statement or the expression so the last thing i'm going to teach you is you don't want to initialize any variable here and you can skip it but make a note that 
we have to add a semicolon that's because you know only a semicolon is also a valid statement in C so if you want to skip this you can do that just remove the statements that's it and if you want to skip this you can do that so now we have a infinite for loop so within this for loop we have to test for some condition and then um, by using the break statement you can exit you know the loop so here I'm gonna initialize it to 1 and uh, inside this for loop when this uh, counter value becomes let's say 5 we're going to break it if counter equal to 5 break so here it's gonna be counter plus plus save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have printed the numbers from 1 to 4 and when this value become 5 we just break this for loop so this is it this is about the for loop in C thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next tutorial